Capricorn, you know, they say you're not a particularly spiritual type of person. That's apparently because uh, you, you know, you're an earth sign and ruled by Saturn, but that's not necessarily true uh, in your life. And it's certainly not true in this last month of 2021. By the way, um, thank you for all of your support throughout 2021. It's been a roller coaster ride for me. How about you? Uh, I'm going to kick this off with an important note on this spiritual component because you've got the Mercury Sun South Node combination in this 12th house of spirituality dominating with that 4th of December solar eclipse. Look at it there. It's very, very potent. It's important because most of the planets are contained right now within this what we call nodal axis. You know, you've had you've had this reverse motion of the South Node spiritual planet moving through the spiritual house for somewhat 18 months. And I think this eclipse is going to trigger all of that latent spiritual energy within you, Capricorn. Now, what does it mean? Does it mean you're going to go and live in a cave and uh, charitably give away all your money? No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> so you can relax now. It's not that at all. <clears throat> Actually, there were some great and famous kings historically. There was the famous Indian king, Janaka. King Janaka was a uh, super wealthy uh, being, but he was also an enlightened being. He uh, gained his enlightenment from the famous young boy called Ashtavakra, who was twisted in eight places. But that's a story for another time. I'm uh, digressing a little bit. Important to say, <coughs> as with the king, you can enjoy the luxuries and the wealth and power and prestige of this life. <coughs> pardon me, while at the same time having a spiritual insight. And I think that's what this eclipse is all about for you. Notice there's a lessening of those energies in the 12th house as uh, Mercury will move out of here. The moon already moved out, moving through the 4th house there on the 13th of December, leading up to Christmas, more of a focus on your domestic activities. Mercury moves into your sun sign giving you an amazingly busy sort of cycle uh, from mid-December on up until maybe the second week of January. A lot of communication with this planet and keep your eye out here too on Venus, the planet of love and also the planet of career. It dominates two very important points in your horoscope and it goes retrograde on the 18th of December stationary retrograde and that's a very good planet for you a lot of people are afraid why does microsoft do that pop up things when i don't want it i really dislike that sorry i digressed again um the retrogression of a good planet which was the trine and the angle the most important angle of your horoscope there it is there stationary is empowered that planet is empowered it gives great results it's um, quite intense. It's even more magnified being in the close quarters of Pluto here. And so you've got these, this powerful triplicate then enhanced even more by the sun moving here into your sun sign on the 22nd. That's why they say many happy returns. Dominant Capricorn energy now with all of this. So although I mentioned that the very, very deepening spiritual aspect of this, I think you're able to bring that spirituality into the context of your day-to-day -day practical working life. And to my way of thinking, that is really the, the best sort of spirituality where you don't have to divorce those spiritual activities like yoga or meditation or self-observation from the day-to-day -day activities. It's within those day-to-day -day activities that you're going to gain the most insight. And Venus, which rules your fifth house of past karma, is also in a strange sort of way in tandem working with this 12th house south node, which has been also drawing you inward more and more. Don't fight that. Um, you can't resist your destiny. You can't fight it. It will bring you... See, see what I'm talking about here? Why does it do that? I don't want to know about Microsoft. I want to know about Capricorn, don't you? Notice also the uh, the movement here 
on the 29th of Jupiter, that's that spiritual planet dominating and ruling this 12th house, moving into your third house, into its own sign, along with the placement of Neptune. So this is a bit of a prelude because uh, Jupiter is going to take about a year to transit through this sign of Pisces, your third house. And so there is a significant shift away from uh, just simply the pure spirituality of the planets, but communicating these ideas, bringing a measure of compassion and insight into the way you work with other people. So this is a really great period. I love the eclipse for you. I love the way all of those energies shift away from that 12th house of you know hidden mystery into this uh, sun sign of yours. Again, casting the influence here to the seventh house of relationships to, that can improve your uh, way of dealing with others. Trining this fifth house of Uranus, making you creative in really zany sorts of ways. And so I think Christmas for you this month, December 2021, is going to be a great one and one full of entertainment as well because the fifth house is entertaining, as is Mercury. I'm trying to get your 2022 yearly ho uh, horoscopes up, the forecast for you there at astrology.com.au. Pop on over, follow the links, subscribe so you can get uh, more information from us. And uh, if you want that all-important personalized reading, I'm here to do that. I've been doing it for 37 years. I'd love to share what I see for you and your ears only here at uh, astrology.com today for your rising sign and the planets where they were at the time you were born. Really looking forward to that. Do have a Merry Christmas, a safe one. I'll see you in the new year, Capricorn. Bye-bye for now.